great and beautiful people of God. Welcome to my channel. This is Blessing the Year Winner TV, a great channel full of God's words, prayers, prophecy, word of knowledge. Here we have the whole of the Bible and audio playlist. Subscribe, touch your bell, stay with us. You are welcome. We'll be looking at some verses today. The first one will be Hebrews 11 6. It says, But without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I'm so blessed by this scripture each time I read it, and it has helped me in my life to have testimonies. Again, Hebrews 11 says, But without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Praise God. God is a rewarder. If you seek God, you're looking for something, he will surely reward you. I have a lot of testimonies. I have series of testimonies. So I want you to know the scripture and all the text that God is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. But without faith, you cannot please God. It's impossible. If you come to him, you must come with faith that yes, God is and God is a rewarder. That's why I'm going to ask him this thing you're asking him, he will do it for you. Don't come thinking, will he do it? Will he not do it? Am I sure? Am I not sure? Don't come that way because you will not please God that way. Come knowing, oh God, you are the all knowing, you are the almighty, make up heaven and earth. I know you can do it. With all things are possible. Lord, see my case. Come with that attitude, come with that mindset, come with that heart. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come with that knowledge that God is and, and is a, that God is a rewarder of those that seek Him diligently. Come and seek Him, seek Him diligently. Anna sought Him diligently. Anna cried. He cried. She was talking. She was praying for a child. At least we are moving. At least we are moving. And they thought she was drunk. And she got a miracle. Anna sought Him diligently. Seek God be diligent in it. Don't come to see God lousily, doubtfully, and just uh, nonchalantly uh, because you don't know that you will do it or not. You will not get what you want. Don't have double mind. Come in faith. Come. Do you believe God can do all things? Do you, if you believe it, come that way. And that's how you get your result. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder. Of them that are diligently seeking, when you say God diligently, God will reward you. What are you asking God for? What are you praying for today? God is able to do this for you. Nothing is out for Him. If He made the heavens and the earth, what can He not make? Nothing. He made the heaven that He made everything in it. He can make everything. He can do everything. So don't come with doubt. No matter your case, no matter how old you are, if you think you are looking for a child, don't say, oh, you are not old. Don't come with the mind of science. Science science is different from the, the power of God. God has power to make science so bad. God has power that is more than what science believes. God does not work by science. God works by his power. Praise God. Sarah gave birth at old age. Praise God. So don't come to God with the mind of science. Come to God with the mind that God is God. Praise God. That God is God. And you will get your miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. No matter what, nothing is too late for God. Nothing. God raises the dead. Praise God. So don't say, oh, it's too late. Don't come with the mind of it's too late. Come with the mind that God is almighty. Is God. I can do everything. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come with that mindset. Let's look for look let's look at the book of Mark 11 from 23 to 24. I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, go through go through yourself into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Mark 11, 23 to 24. Praise God. You see what we are saying? 
it's all saying the same thing. Whatever you ask in prayer, believe you have received it to be yours. That means come in prayer uh, in faith. But without faith, you cannot please God. So come in faith. Because without faith, you cannot please God. Don't come in doubt. Don't come with the mind of science. What the doctor said. What they did not say. Or what is happening right now in the society. What is not happening right now in society. What the law say. What the law. Don't come with that kind of mindset. Come with the mindset that God's word says with God things are possible. I say if I ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will receive. And uh, God, God is the one that made heaven and head. He can do everything. Nothing is asked for him to do. If I, no, as I come to him right now, I know I'm going to receive my miracles and testimony. Come with that mindset that God is God. That with him, nothing is impossible. That kind of mindset you come with when you come in prayers. I read that Mark 11, 23, 24 again. I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea. And does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. I've prayed sometimes, and I started packing my bag for for the purpose of, uh, you know, of the prayer. I, I pray about. Uh, Going to law school, but law school from my time was so difficult to get. Uh, I prayed and I started packing my bag for law school. I got a big box, started putting clothes away in law school, putting shoes, putting things I would need in law school. Then I was already admitted, but I know that my prayer was heard. I believe what I pray for, I have it. So I started packing my bag. And two uh, law school resumed. Two weeks after they resumed, I didn't I didn't say, Oh, it's finished. I kept on believing until I got that admission and I was I joined the set. I only copied the notes that they've copied so far. I didn't give up my faith. Because I believe you believe, do not give up your faith. That be with another topic. No matter what you see, as I said before, in my case, I was believing to go to law school because I could not get a form. It was so difficult to get a form. I was praying, believing, trying, trying, trying because they have very few scanty forms. It was finished. I was praying for more forms to be released. And law school, in the midst of my believing, law school resumed. So I going to class, copying notes. And so it became two weeks they be copying notes. I did not stop believing God that I want to join that class. So that brings me to this topic that when you are, are believing God for something, you are having faith for something, and the opposite is happening, that, that uh, well, what is even worse is even that you are praying for something, but it's like it's finished, it's ended, like it's, it's all gone, like you don't have to pray anymore. Keep on praying, keep on believing. Faith does not give up. Faith does not give up. What did I say? Faith does not give up. Keep on believing. Don't stop believing. Move. Push. Keep on pushing. Don't say, oh, this is already happening. It's not say it's already finished. Don't say, oh, it's over. It's never over with faith. It is what did I say? It is never, never, never over with faith. Hallelujah. The person is dead. The person can wake up again. God raised the dead. So it is never, never over with faith. So when you are believing God for something, you see that the, 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 the worst has happened. Don't say, oh, it's over. That's when you push more. That's when you pray more. That's when you take more steps. That's when you believe more. And I tell you, at that time, the miracle is so close. You pick it up. Hallelujah. You take it. Again, I say, at a time when it seems everything is so difficult, when you see your prayer was not heard, it's over. At a time it seems it's all gone, it's all that way your miracle is so close. Now, what you should do at that point? What should you do? What should you do at that point? At that point, keep on believing, keep on pushing more, keep on pressing forward. At that point, you do at that point, pray more, take more actions. Why your miracle is so close? Pick it up. Hallelujah. He says, I don't give you the secrets now. The secrets I just give to you now. I don't repeat the secret to get the secret. We are praying for something. You are believing God for something. You'll be praying and praying. And a situation happens. A circumstance happens. Something happens that, that shows to you, sorry is over. Sorry, don't pray anymore. Go and sleep. No, the secret. At that point, that way you pray more. That way you shout more. That way you press more. That way you take more actions towards getting that thing. That way you do what? You pray more. You take more actions. You speak more. You push more. You go nearer to the thing more. And then you pick it up. But at that point, the way it seems to you that it's so dark that you should go, you should not pray anymore. That way, your miracle is close. That's the point of your miracle. That's the point of your miracle. Praise God. I say what the darkest point is the point of your miracle. 
It's a time I should not give up. It's a time to say the dead wake up from the dead. It's time to say, this I'm getting you now. It's time to move towards the thing more and more. In my case, when I began going to the, the, the classes, law school resumed. I, was, I, 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 I traveled to the law school. It was a different state. I traveled there to go out. I traveled there. That way I, I pressed more. I never traveled this way when I was praying. Now when I heard the Lord, I traveled there. And God did a miracle for me. Praise God. I didn't travel there before then because there was no need. Because they don't give you law school forms in my country, in the school. They send it to your university. Hallelujah. They send it there. So there was, if you go there, they will not give it to you in your hand. When I had a resume, I went there in faith. Hallelujah. It's a long story. But I got a miracle. Praise God. So God bless you richly. I'm happy you are watching this video. At this time, we're going to pause and use a few seconds to share this video. Share this video now to your loved ones. They're going to be blessed. Share right now. Share to your, on your Facebook, on your WhatsApp, everywhere. Instagram, TikTok. Share and be blessed. Share that other people be blessed. Share, share, share. I want to be praying for, for you. If I pray, please share this video. Share it wider. Wide, wide, wide. Share, share, share to your family members. Share, share, share that I'll pray for you. Share so they can be blessed. Share so you can be blessed too. Share this video everywhere. In Jesus' name, God bless you. I pray for you today. It is well with you forever. Evil is far from you. You will not lack. You will not be ashamed. As you have faith in God, you will have your miracles. You will testify. As you have faith in God, people will see you. Hallelujah. And they will call you blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. As you have faith in God, your faith will produce results. Big one. The whole world will see your testimony. In Jesus' name. You will not be ashamed. You will not lack any good thing in your life. Every prayer you pray will be heard. You will not have a series of unanswered prayers. No. But you have a series of answered prayers. You have a series of testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, that will be your case. Series of testimony will be your case. Series of answered prayers will be your case. Lined up answer prayer will be your case. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mataka Sekeri Katule Bashekeria. You will not give up so soon. You are believing God. No, your faith will be strong. Your faith will remain strong. In Jesus' name, Mataka Baska. Your testimony will be so big. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mataka Baseketi Kaya. Lite Kabaska. Evil will be far from you. In Jesus' name. Mataka Basekita, you will not bury, you will not be buried in the name of Jesus Christ. Mataka Basca, for you will not die. Nothing dies around you. With long life, what satisfy you and show you in salvation? In Jesus' name. Evil is far from you. Evil is far from you. Calamity is far from you. In Jesus' name, you and your family will not experience calamity. You will not experience tragedy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mataka Sukuturi Kataya. You are hid in your head to your toe. If anyone I seek among you, you are hid in Jesus' name. You are hid from your head to your toe. In the name of Jesus Christ, what the devil meant for evil, God will turn around for your good. What the devil meant for evil, God will turn around for your good. Victory song will be your mass. You have the victory forever. You will not be ashamed. You will not be asshole. You will not be disgraced. You will testify. Testimony will be your mass forever in the name of Jesus Christ your academics is blessed your marriage is blessed your womb is blessed everything about you is blessed you progress in life you prosper in life you move forward in life Jesus name Mataka Seterika Suterebahaya what the devil meant for evil will be for your good God will turn around the plan of the enemy to be, to, for your good in Jesus name everything will work out for your good you will not be disgraced you will not lack any good thing God will supply your needs in Jesus name you are blessed forever you will increase in all you do greater is he that is in you than that is in the world you will not be ashamed calamity will not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ you will testify when you open your mouth to speak haha <laughs> you speak wisdom in Jesus name when you open your mouth to speak you speak testimonies in Jesus name mataka likataya rikobo rikelebo shitala bakasike yaba lituba in the name of Jesus Christ we have prayed amen if you are not born again you will forgive your life to Christ say prayer of salvation after me say Lord Jesus today I come to you be my Lord be my Savior I believe you died for me you were buried on the third day 
He rose again from the dead. Lord Jesus, I am now yours. God in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. That prayer was said by you. are not born again. Please go to the Bible teaching church. Stay with us here. Subscribe to the bell. Follow us on TikTok and Facebook. I'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye.